The rising cost of living. Will we see the number of consumers defaulting on account payments decrease? Um, so, uh, look, economic conditions are tough. What we have seen is banks have become more judicious and more prudent. Uh, and so we're seeing um, you know, less consumers go into arrears because of bank actions. But I think the common consumer on the street is, is still you know, facing a lot of pressure. Wage and income uh, you know, growth is, is fairly stagnant. Um, and so those consumers' ability to repay debt is, is, is still under pressure. Yeah. I mean, when do you predict that we're going to have a, a healthier or, or, or better uh, credit rating? Uh, so I think it's going to be some time. Uh, I think we need to see the underlying economic conditions start to improve. Uh, GDP growth continues to be um, to be very uh, marginal. Uh, you know, job growth is continues to be under stress as well. Um, so I think consumers are going to be under a state of stress as as long as the economy is, and and that's for the foreseeable future, unfortunately. No, that is unfortunate. So at least for well, obviously, I mean, we're at the end of this year, but yep. the future for next year pretty much so looking the same. Um, you know, I think the, the government is forecasting a slight improvement in terms of GDP growth, uh, but I don't think it's going to be dramatic. Uh, so, uh, you know, our, ex our expectations are uh, we're going to be below the 50 mark. Uh, consumers are going to remain under stress. Um, you know, certainly into 2015, uh, we might see a sl slight uptick, but we wouldn't expect it to be dramatic. Why do we still see South Africans borrowing so much then? Um, so uh, there's a couple of reasons. I think one, it's um, you know just part of the culture and, and, and has been ingrained in the culture for quite some time. I think two, and, and uh, obviously for those consumers that are under pressure, uh, they view debt as, as a way to, um, you know, to, to create a little bit of space and a little bit of room and perhaps buy some things that they, they couldn't afford on their own income, which if done uh, responsibly isn't such a bad thing, but if done you know, recklessly could certainly lead to, to, to harmful behavior. Yeah, certainly can. And I think, I mean, I've, I've, I've heard it many, many times said before and still being said, you know, uh, just borrow from the bank. It's, you know, it's, it's yeah. the bank's money. It's not my money, so I don't have to really worry about it. Yeah. Such a wrong way of thinking. Absolutely. It, is, it is your money. It, it's your responsibility to pay it back plus some. Yeah, and what we've found is consumers really don't have a true sense of what credit costs them. Yeah. So they're really focused on, well, what is my monthly repayment? And they don't really understand how much interest they're actually paying on debt. So once again, debt used responsibly is, is a healthy and a good thing. Uh, but you know, consumer education and understanding of the cost of credit is, still has a long way to go. Also, with South Africans, I, I suppose this must also... Um, talk to our, our sense of savings as well and South Africans living for today and not worrying yeah. about tomorrow and not not saving for the unexpected um, again you talk of the culture that's inbred into South Africans is that another problem that we do have uh, I think low savings rate certainly is a challenge um, you know you you hear stories of consumers um, you know quitting a job to cash out on on their provident funds and other things um, but you know s savings is is a critical uh, critical piece and what consumers end up doing is overextending themselves on debt and don't have that headroom to to save on a monthly basis yeah let's let's look at some of the the, the inflations that we're sitting at uh, food inflation 10 percent uh, primary and high school education, 8.2%, health at 5.4%. I mean, this surely must affect the current consumer behavior, whether in defaulting on payments and applying for more credit. I mean, these are, these are basic things, education, food, uh, health. Uh, this is important things. Absolutely. Um, inflation on everyday goods really hits the consumer's wallet. Yeah. Plus, we had the interest rate hike, yeah. while not dramatic, um, once again hitting the consumer. Uh, obviously, fuel prices were reduced last night, which is which is a welcome relief. But when you get you know eight, nine, ten percent inflation on every day uh, goods, and your your income isn't going up, you're already under stress. That's going to create additional stress on a lot of consumers and a lot of households here in South Africa. Just, just finally, the Consumer Act that was introduced to protect consumers has it helped in any way? Uh, so you know that didn't have a dramatic impact necessarily on the financial industry. Um, so you know. Not, not really. Um, there's a new National Credit Act that's coming out around affordability guidelines and other things that are going to hold banks uh, to a, a higher standard in terms of how they assess if a consumer is able to, pull, to uh, pay back that debt. Yeah. That has not yet gone into effect. 
Um, I do think that will be helpful, um, but once again, you know, that, that's in the future, certainly not helping not consumers helping as on. it stands now. All right, Jeff Miller, again, thanks so much for joining us, always coming in, talking about this uh, Consumer Credit Index that uh, is conducted by TransUnion and just giving us an idea of the state of uh, borrowing here in South Africa. Right, let's take a look at our market indicators now.